Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome to an episode from my YouTube channel, Simulation Gaming. So thanks for popping in. I'm not sure how you found the channel, but I thank you for visiting. And it's a new channel that I've created, going to be focusing on a lot of different gaming platforms. Uh, as a young kid, I loved the simulation aspect of gaming. I loved the statistics, the numbers, had, you know, binders and, and clipboards of all the different stats from different sports. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of do a YouTube channel that is kind of fo focused on the, the simulation part of different games. Now, it will focus a lot on sports, but it won't only be on sports. In fact, the first uh, game I'm going to cover is not even really a game. It's more of a application, more of a, a collecting app. So hope you got your morning coffee and are ready to uh, delve into my first application. We're going to look at the app known as quid now quid for most of you if you've heard that term i believe refers to a, an english or british uh, monetary phrase however in the app world quid is a digital collecting app and on quid you can collect you can sell you can buy it's actually a fantastic application for those that have in the past or are currently collecting. Now, as a young kid, I love to collect sports cards, specifically hockey. And I love the feeling of going to the store as a eight, nine, 10 year old, buying a few packs of hockey cards, ripping them open and just seeing who I would get. And then going home and sorting them and, you know, making sure I wasn't missing any, you know, asking mom or dad for a few, a couple more dollars so I could go back to the store and, and buy a few more packs. And if you have found this channel, uh, perhaps a lot of you have experienced that as well. Now, maybe you collected Beanie Babies, maybe you collected Pogs, maybe you collected Pokemon cards, maybe you collected bottle caps. Uh, it's all kind of that same thrill of the collection. And so now in this digital world, uh, there are several apps out there where you can collect things digitally. Now, you don't have the physical enjoyment of it, of holding that card or that coin or that stamp in your hand. However, it does make things a lot easier for storage, I'll be honest. So we are going to explore a digital collecting app known as Quid. If you're already on there, uh, this will be kind of more of a tutorial for those people that are just getting started. If you are not on there, I recommend you go to the Apple Store, you go to the Google Play Store, find it and download it. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. So once again, thank you for uh, finding the channel, first of all, and hopefully you enjoy the content you'll click that subscribe button, you'll click that little bell for future notifications. You know, if you find uh, it worthwhile content, please leave a like and uh, share it out to get as many eyes as possible on this video. So on the Quid app, which we'll get to in just a little bit a uh, minute here, I am actually on Quid, and I have been on Quid since 2018. One cool thing that Quid does is it shows, once you register and sign up, it shows your join date on your profile. So you can see that I've joined in uh, January of 2018. So I guess you could consider myself a, a veteran of Quid. Quid has been around for, I think, uh, the sixth birthday is coming up next month. So let's say six years that Quid has been around. Now, I haven't been there since the beginning in 2016. Uh, there are people currently on Quid that are the original members. 
And so they've seen quid progress over the last six years through its ups and believe me, through its many down periods. And quid has changed quite a bit in terms of what you can and can't do and the different licenses that they have. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit about how you can get quid and what it has to offer you. All right, so the first thing you want to do if you do not have access to quid yet is go to your device store of choice, whether it's Apple or whether it's Google Play, type quid into the search bar at the top. And when you do a search, it should automatically bring you to the quid app. Look for it just like you see it on the screen. Now, because I have quid uh, downloaded already, I'll go right to the open. Quid takes you know a few seconds to load up. It's a fairly, fairly big app. And once it's all loaded up, it will bring you to this screen here. Well, it may bring you to any of the screens that you see at the bottom. And over time, we'll go through each one of them. But on Quid, what you need to know kind of right off the bat is Quid is a collecting, buying, selling, basically a collectible app that has many, many, many different licenses. Now, as I go through these, most of them will be familiar to you. These are animations that you've watched, they're TV shows that you've watched, they're video games that you've played, lots and lots and lots of different licenses that Quid has had over the last six years. Now, it can be a little overwhelming to start with, but once you get your feet wet and, and try out a few things and get the handle of it, it, in my opinion, is probably the best user interface of any collectible app that's out there. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but like I said, once you get used to it, you're gonna love it. Uh, very easy to use. So typically, when you load it up, it will bring you to the shop store. So on the shop store are currently available or recently available sets that you can purchase. Now, the one thing about Quid is it is an American company and everything is measured in American dollars. So if you're in Australia, if you're in Canada, if you're in Asia, Africa, Europe, South America, or way down in Antarctica, you will have to convert into whatever currency uh, your home country uses. One thing to kind of notice or kind of mention as well is not all licenses are available to all countries. Some of them are restricted to certain uh, continents around the world. So if you're in Asia, if you're in Europe, you may not have access to some of the licenses out there. Uh, most of them you will, but some of them, um, they don't have the license to certain parts of the world. So in very simple terms, this is a collecting app. It's an opportunity for you to buy and to sell any of your items. Although technically you don't own the items on Quid, it is still Quid property. You do have the ability to sell, I would say probably 90% of the items on Quid you have the ability to sell. There are a couple licenses that we'll get to in later videos where you can exchange items. You can't sell them anymore because of the license agreement. So let's take a quick look at what you can do once you have quit. First thing you'll need to do is to deposit some money. So whether it's an iTunes card, whether it's a Google Play card, whether it's through PayPal, through credit card, you'll have to deposit some money into your quid account. So once that is done, and you'll do that through your profile that you see here at the bottom, once that is done and you have a little bit of money into your account, then you can start collecting. So you can see which 
uh, packs and sets are available. So this blockchain hero will open one of those up and you can see that this is currently available for 25 cents. Now I already own this card. In fact, uh, I own a lot of the blockchain. However, to show you how it works, I'll purchase another one. So I click on the 25 cents at the bottom. I click confirm. And within a few seconds, it purchases. And there's that feeling of opening a pack like you were when you were a kid. And I open the pack and I see I've got one, two, three, four, five cards in the pack. So just by using your thumb and I can rewind it, you can go through the different cards. And if it is a card, you can click on the card and check out the back. How cool is that? It's just like a physical card, but on your computer. So Quid does their cards extremely well. And some of the artwork is just excellent that they use. So this is a 25 cent pack and it gave me five cards. Now, one thing you'll also notice is each card, Quid does this really well, each card is uniquely identified by a serial number, or I guess just by a number. So you'll notice this one here is first edition, 12,078 out of 20,000. So what that means is that when Quid released this set, there were 20,000 available cards of this design. Now I've got number 12,000 and something. For some collectors, the number that you get, the lower the number, the more valuable it is to some collectors. And then when you go and sell cards, if you have a number one or a number two or even a number 20, you will probably be able to sell that card for more than I can sell this card because I have such a high number here. So you always, if you are a true collector and you intend to invest in your cards and eventually hope to sell them, you are kind of hoping when you open packs, you get the low numbers. If you do not care about reselling and, and future investments and you simply want to collect because you love a license, number doesn't matter. You can get whatever number you want. You just simply want to try and complete the set. So that is a simple way of buying. Now, once I have bought cards, I can click on it. And you'll notice I have a bunch of different options here. Okay, I can sell it. I can see which other cards are for sale of that same design. If I need it, I can add it to my wish list. Kind of like a, a notebook of keeping track of which cards you still need. I can burn it, which will be a future video, cool concept. And if I need to go back and purchase another pack, I can go and do that by clicking on take me to the direct pack. So let's quickly show you how you would set up a cell. So you click the sell button, it brings up the card that you own, you can resize it, you can pick different color backgrounds, you can even go to your camera roll and pick an image off your camera. Of course, Quid does have different rules and regulations about the types of images that you can use. So make sure you read up on the terms and conditions of using Quid. However, if it is an acceptable image, if you find, you know, a nice purple background that you want to use and it's on your camera roll, simply click the camera, find the image, and it will load it up as your background. So you can design your cell basically however you want. Once you have it set up, you click on next in the top corner. You designate a price for it. So let's say I want to sell it for, you know, 33 cents. Okay, I simply choose how long I want that to go on sale for, let's say 12 hours, or I can keep it up permanently until it sells. 
and then you simply up here is a post button you simply click the post and now that card has been put up for sale if i want to edit it i go to the edit button and i simply change the price i want to sell it for if you want to delete your sale say yeah you know what i want to keep that card i don't want to sell it you click the little trash can up here in the corner and boom your card has been deleted from the marketplace. So as I showed you, there are listings from other sellers for this exact card. So I can go to the listings. And because there were 20,000 of this card, it makes sense that a lot of people would have them for sale. And you can see the different price ranges from 10 cents up to 15 cents to $3 to... 30 cents, quite the range. Again, the real hardcore collectors where the print number matters, they will look for a lower print and a lower price. So because I had such a high number and I kind of like the lower numbers in certain series, I see this one here for 35 cents. It's number 45. I click on it, but unfortunately it is already sold. Okay, the seller, the buyer, sometimes it takes a while for Quid to remove the sold items. Usually it removes fairly quickly, but the odd time it will stay up for a little bit longer. So I scroll down and I see one for 75 cents. It is still there, 75 cents for a 70 print, very low number of 20,000 cards, I want to add that to my collection. So thank you to Bobs and Bits and Bobs for selling it for a reasonable price. I'm going to click buy. I'm going to confirm. And there you go. I now have this card, number 70, in my collection. It is mine. So if I go back to my collection and... I look at the card, you notice a little number two here. Now I have two versions of that card. So I can keep them both, I can sell one, I can sell them both, the choice is yours. So typically for newer sets that are currently on sale, Quid will post them on the shop here. So Neopets was a set that Quid put out last week where they put out four or five different sets and by collecting the sets, you could earn rewards. You could, again, open packs. However, only one of the Neopets set hasn't sold out. Some of these sets will sell out within a couple days or a day or a few hours. And the real popular sets with a low print number can sell out in minutes. So you kind of have to be aware of release time. Quid usually gives you a heads up on when they will release items. And so if it's a set you really want, you kind of want to be there as soon as it's released to avoid it being sold out. So this is just a base pet, uh, base set of the Neopets. So I don't know how many of you remember Neopets. Uh, one of those uh, unique collectibles you know kind of post beanie baby and pog and all those other things but it was definitely something that was part of pop culture for a period of time and you may recognize some of these characters that were part of the neopets so i own them all because i opened a lot of packs when it was released but there are still some available so you'll notice that when i open one of them up thirty thousand of them were available you can buy a pack for 75 cents. There are five stickers in it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's open one of these packs. Now I've turned uh, the sound effects off, but there are some sound effects if you choose to listen to them. And you'll see that I've got a hey, number 711 out of 30,000. That's pretty cool. So again, if 
the print number matters to you, you would say, that's ah, it's a fairly decent number, 711 out of 20,000. And as I go through, it shows me the print number at the top. And if you hit a real low number, you get another little cool animation as well. I didn't hit an extremely low number, so you didn't see that on this purchase. So I purchased the pack, it added those five items to my collection, and uh, now if I want to sell any of them, I simply click on it. Maybe you remember this guy as your Neopets. I click on uh, the prints because that will take me to all the ones that I own. So these are all the numbers that I own of that print. Let's sell, let's sell this one here. I click on sell, give it a nice design. I can add accessories if I want, like, hey, alert, alerts. Please buy this Neopet. And I can even give it some other effects as well to try and make it stand out on the marketplace. I click next. I put in my price. The minimum is 15 cents. You can't go any lower than 15 cents. The maximum is, I believe, 100,000. So you can go way up there. Don't expect to sell your Neopet for 100,000. So it takes a little bit of time to kind of get to know the market and the value of different items on the market. But because this one is very common and they're still available in packs, I'm not gonna get much more than the minimum for it. So I'll click done, 15 cents. Up here at the top is my post button. I will click that and there it is. It is now on the marketplace. So depending on traffic on the site and, and your Wi-Fi ability, it may take a little while longer to post. I can view the listings now and if I scroll down, I should be able to see my print. It was around 22,000, I believe. So one of these here in the 22,000 range is the one that I just listed. So very easy, very easy to purchase items, very easy to list items for sale. And as I said, many, many, many different licenses that you can choose from. We will cover that in the next video, we'll go through some of the licenses and we'll talk about, you know, different editions. We'll talk about awards, you know, the different types of sets that you can collect as well. But go get Quid, go download it. Feel free to send me a message on Quid saying, hey, I found you on Quid. Thanks for the video. And again, please subscribe, hit the little bell notification. Feel free to share a comment and share this out to others. Have a wonderful, blessed day. We'll check you out on the next video.